Hello everybody, I'm Ken O'Connor, aka Kind King of One. Welcome back to Kind King's Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke Challenge. In our last episode, we caught two Pokemon, but then we lost one Pokemon, and then we got to Violet City, and yeah, last episode was full of ups and downs, but hopefully we have nothing but ups. Uh, cl quick look at our team. Just four. Just four little guys. So sad. I miss you, Cliff. I'm sorry I screwed up so badly. Alright, but we're going back into Sprout Tower today. We're going to try to make some progress in here. And I double-checked. There are Gastlys in here, so hopefully we run into a Gastly, because I can catch a Gastly for my team. Oh, Sprout Tower. I'll always hate you now for reasons I shouldn't. Okay, battle time. Sway like leaves in the wind. Oh, okay, old man. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. Sage Edmund McMillan wants to battle. The uh, creator of Binding of Isaac, which I love that game and have a very unhealthy obsession with. Alright, I'm not going to even risk it. Audrey 2, swap out for... No, we got to raise the other ones. So let's, uh, let's do, uh... Let's do Nikki. Critical hit, of course. I swear, if I lose another Pokemon this episode, I, I'm just probably going to quit because what is life? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Nice. Audrey level 4. How about that? And a little XP for Nikki. Alright, let's change back to Audrey. And let's... <laughs> I made this mistake last time, letting the weak Pokemon fight, but I just want to... Like, I don't know if it actually does a difference, but I always think that when a Pokemon, like, they attack at least once, it's like, oh, you get more experience points, but it's probably not that at all. Come on, Haley. Another critical hit. What's with all these critical hits? Alright, Audrey's level 5 now. Move it up in the world really quickly. Good. Another Bell Sprout. Will you change? Yes. Back to Audrey 2. Do a Vine Whip. There you go. Get your, get your little stab in there. Did... Pretty much nothing. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Amber. Another critical hit! What the hell? I've never seen so many critical hits in a row, like in one battle. Oh, and I got critical. Of course. Makes sense. It's, it's justice. Sage Edmund, Edmund... Oh, I'm weak. I got $96. Moving along. Alright, this is like the final stretch of the tower. Let's do this. Again, playing a little bit risky. Probably like... In all honesty, I should be running back to the Pokemon Center after each battle. But that seems really just like lame. Need to have a little risk. Hey, look, another Bell Sprout, which is a level higher than my Audrey too. So what are we gonna do? Let's go to Amber. Let's go to Amber. If only Amber had Ember, this would be so much easier. Not very effective. Now, if I recall correctly, at the end of these like couple of sages, we fight with our rival. So I'm definitely gonna want to uh. Wanna change things up when that happens. Nice. Audrey's level six. And learn growth. Nice. Defeated the sage. Sage gin and tonic. Alright. 
Now, I think they give you the option you can, like, fight one or the other, like, the guy on top of the guy that I'm fighting right now. But I'm gonna fight them both, because trainer XP is very valuable in the early stages. Bellsprout. Do you guys remember the old anime episode where Ash fought a Bellsprout in the Pokemon League? And it had, like, the weird wiggly body and whatnot? And, like, electric attacks didn't work because, like, like the Pokedex said, it was anchored to the ground. So it would just send the electricity into the ground. Okay, okay. Sorry this isn't too interesting to watch right now. Like, this is really just dumb fighting Pokemon. Just grinding away. Oh, Amber's... Oh, shh. Uh, 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 not gonna risk it, not gonna risk it, not gonna risk it, not going to risk it whatsoever. <laughs> if this was eight, if this was eight, okay, I only did, I wasn't gonna risk it. <laughs> that was way too close. Okay, got that done with. Nice. And Audrey's level seven now. So Audrey's growing really fast, wow. All right, Sage Neil, Neil from uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, the Santa Claus, the uh, the uh, the step husband, or father, or person. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out funny names for each of these guys. Sage Troy Baker, nice. Voice of the uh, Joker and other uh, people. Very nice to meet you. Okay, Audrey two. Even though you're the same level, I still don't trust you to fight. So I'm gonna switch you out. Should have used quick attack there, but Tackle did a decent job. Don't. Oh my god, not risking it. <laughs> not risking it. This is the episode of like, Kenny is not good at games. But I think everyone knew that already. Alright. So far, so good. Boom. Okay. And Audrey is at level 8. Audrey shot up a lot this episode. That's how I want for Cliff. Cliff, these should be Cliff's levels. <coughs> Miss you, Cliff. I actually told my coworker today I made him watch the uh, video where uh, I got Cliff and then lost him. It was uh, pretty embarrassing. Not gonna lie. I fucked up royally. Alright, let's see if Audrey 2 can actually fight now. Nope! Not quite yet. Alright, let's switch back to Haley. Uh, Amber, actually. Let's do Amber. He identified Amber. What does that mean? How do you identify me? Like, my personality, my stats... What are you talking about? Okay, come on, Hoot Hoot. Let's go down. You've lowered my attack so much, it's just, it's becoming just annoying now. There we go. And, ah, oh, not quite yet. Sage Troy Baker was defeated. Yes, you trust, your trust is real. Yeah, you bet my trust is real. Alright, up ahead is my rival. So I'm going to go back and heal, because God knows I need to heal. Is there something up here? Oh, there is something up here. I got an X defend. I will never use that, because I never use those items. But, cool to have, I guess. Probably sell it. Do, 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 do. Walk th Where are the wild encounters? I want a ghastly. Why am I going to name a ghastly if I catch one? Ooh. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All 
Hello, Nurse Joy. Please take care of my Pokemon. Yes, please. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Still a bit weird, but thank you for saying that, I guess. Back to the tower. Back to the tower! They need to make an express elevator to the top floor. This is ridiculous. Again, the towers in gold and silver always are interesting. It reminds me of, uh, if we ever get to this later on, Hoot Hoot's Tower. That confusing, like, pathway to get up the tower is ridiculous. Alright, let's fight our rival. Riku! You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools, so blah blah, about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon. That can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Riku uses an escape... Oh, does he just leave? Oh. Well... Uh, I don't remember this game as well as I thought I did. Hey, buff, talk to me, dude. Oh, he's who I battle. Alright, that makes more sense. I am the final test. Allow me to to uh, battle you. And, uh, oh, my. Alright, Sage Lee. Lee from, like, Card Captors? What was his name? Lee something something? I don't remember. But that's my joke. I'm going with it. Leela. <laughs> Sage Lee Love from Futurama. <laughs> Alright, let's get Amber level. I want to get you Ember, because when you have Ember, you can just kill all of these things. Alright, two per, not bad. Hmm. A little bell sprout. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! I took you down. Audrey went up to level 9. God damn. Amber's level 12. There we go. Now, now here comes the party. Alright. So now they're all level 9. So let me... Let me keep doing Audrey 2, because I really want some grass-type moves for uh, Audrey 2. So, let's switch back to Amber. Woohoo! Aw, oh, poor Hootoot. You failed. Amber! <laughs> I love the old-school graphics. Like, say what you will about, like, the new Pokemon games and how they, they look better, but... I don't know. I'm nostalgic for these old graphics. Really? Again with, the, again with the attack lowering? Are you really doing that hoot hoot? And you got burned, son. That's right, I burn you. How about some ice for that burn? Oh, I'm not funny. I'm sorry, everyone, for watching this. Alright. And one more switcheroo. Back to Audrey 2. Skiddly diddly doo. Okay. Back to Pokemon. Back to Amber. Okay. And hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to kill you once again. The one hit. Super effective. Bye bye, Bellsprout. Hello, everybody. My name is Ken O'Connor. Welcome to me killing uh, Sage Lee. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. I get the Flash? I get, I get Barry Allen? Oh, just HM05. I put it in my pocket. 
Flash will illuminate even the darkest of all places, but to use it out of battle you need the badge from Violet's gym. Uh-oh. You know what that means. And I got an escape rope. Alright, well I think it's a good time to end this episode off here. We raised uh, some levels a bunch. We beat Sprout Tower and got HMO5 Flash. Thank you all for watching Kind King's Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke Challenge. Please remember to like, favorite, subscribe, share this video with your friends, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye